show you even on the video. Great job, Henry. See how my hand is tilted like this. Your fingers are in an angle. They're not straight up and down, okay, running, what's that called, parallel with the frets. Y'all learned that word, maybe not Liam right now, but it's going at an angle to the frets, like this angling out, not angling like this with your elbow into your gut, but angling out like this, okay? So we have these two fingers right here, okay? And you got these two curled up under here. You're gonna play a G. You practice playing the G. Let's drum a G, everybody. Okay, nice. Let's strum a C, strum down from the A string. Yeah, it'll sound a little bit like that sometimes. That's okay, that just means you press harder. Let's play an E minor. Nice, and then I'm gonna show you, remember when we get to that D part, okay? We go over here, we're gonna keep the fingers still here for the D chord, okay? Now, how are we going to do that? Look at this. See my middle finger? It's curled up. It's not touching anything, okay? My index finger, Henry, I think you've got oh, that. I have learned that. Yeah, you've learned that before, that D. That's called a D sus 4. We're going to call it a D chord because we don't need to go with those long names right now. D, okay? Now, that's a little bit tough. Keep those fingers there. So these fingers are always there. Now, let's play a little bit. We're not going to play through the bridge where it has that D chord yet, but you can practice on that D chord for extra credit for next week, okay? Let's play a G. Here we go. Okay, and we're going to strum down those eighth notes, remember? Three and four and 